Whoa, I almost fell on that one. <laughs> Quick little story time. So I went to the store today, and I was wearing this Iron Maiden shirt. Hello. It's my mom's shirt because, you know, she... She's not new to the block. She's been around for quite some time. She's been to a few concerts or whatever. She's a big fan. And pretty much, she kind of like raised me on Iron Maiden. Like, I was like a little obsessed when I was, I want to say like six years old. I don't know. I was in love with Bruce Dickinson. That's a whole other story. So, uh, she gives me a lot of her old Iron Maiden shirts just to hang out in because I like to wear t-shirts all the time. Like, that's pretty much my style. Like, my go-to is like just wearing t-shirts, leggings, uh, whatever shoes, and I'm on my way. So, I went to the store today. And this man who worked at the store walked by me because I had just taken off my jacket because it was getting a little toasty in there. And he walks by and he like chuckles. And he says, do you even know who Iron Maiden is? <laughs> and I look, he like walks by as he says that. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> like I was like, why would you even ask me that? Like what? Just go to your job. No, I'm kidding. That's rude to say. But, um, but yeah, and I walked away and my dad was with me and he was like, and I said to him, that is the second time that an old man has questioned my t-shirts. And it's true because when I had the whole car fiasco in October, um, the mechanic guy came to jump my car. And I was wearing another Iron Man shirt. He asked like a similar question. I can't remember word for word. Hey, it's me. It's me. Hello. Looking a little more rough than I did in that clip. But I remember what the man said to me. He looked at my shirt and he said, that's a little before your time, isn't it? Excuse me, sir. It looks like your time here on Earth is up, so bye. And it's just like, why do you care whether I know them or not? First of all, I do, so calm down. Second of all, who cares? Like, it's just a shirt. Like, would you rather me be naked right now? It's just so stupid. I hate the culture where it's like, oh, you're too young to know what this is. Back in my day, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you're like, Older people be little younger people just because they weren't born at the same time as them. Like, I didn't know that was a problem. It's not my fault you're getting old and you're gonna die soon. Like, don't blame it on me. It's not my fault. I got way too pressed over it, but still, it was it was like the second offense, and I just got a little mad. But here I am in my natural habitat, looking like American Psycho. And I'm really upset because tomorrow I move back into school and I'm not feeling... That was ironic because just as I was ranting about school, a school called me. <laughs> Come here, Chad. Come on. Where were you, June 19th, 2003? Don't mind my acne, but... We're moving in. We're moving in. Why do you look so mad? <laughs> and whose shirt are you wearing? Yours. And whose shirt am I wearing? Shane's. So yeah, I'm moving back in right now. And I'm the first one here. <laughs> we got lots to do. And I'm really hungry. And yeah. Hit me up for a party. Just kidding. Wait, say it one more time. You told your sister she can't eat unless she makes a braid for you in your hair. That's terrible. Well, then she better make it quicker. This is going to be a hair sisterly. piece There you go. That's ugly. You have to redo it. Oh, my God. Do it again. <laughs> Kid and a dog. <laughs> Get those little sisters out of here. I'm done. Oh, nice. Now you can eat. Beauty school. Sing it. Beauty school. Beauty school. Loud and proud. Beauty school. No, back the song. High school. Beauty school. A uh high. -huh. Sing, Sing it. it. Uh -huh. Beauty school, high school. No. Pippa, say no. it how you said it to me that one day. Oh, baby school drop off. We hit the jackpot. She has tight pods. Oh. <laughs> what is that? So apparently my meal plan doesn't start until 5 p.m. It's 4 now, but I haven't eaten all day. All I've had are some cookies. 
sold the semesters off to a really great star. Um, stay tuned for more updates. I'm honestly not feeling the semester at all. Um, until something proves me otherwise, I'm really ready to just like leave the school. It's like nothing's holding me here or anything, so I just feel like living at home would be a better option for me, and that's okay. Like changing my mind and anyone if they're in like a similar place where they're like I don't know if this is what I want to do if you're questioning it like it's probably not for you so do what your mind and your heart tell you as corny as it is I'm following my gut and doing what I'd rather be doing rather than saying well I should probably stay here because it's expected or I already signed up so I should continue to sign up no that is not what we're doing in 2018 this is this is the year of yourself. You know how there's like the year of the cat, the year of the dog. This is the year of you. I hope you're prepared for this. I'm going to explain the absolute best part of, oh shoot, <laughs> of living at college, okay? Like washing your clothes is so fun. Like, <laughs> like it is so fun to do your laundry. Like I love it. <laughs> I just love when like I put my clothes in the washing machine and they come out like soaking wet like that is so much fun kind of reminds me of like you know swimming like being in the swimming pool because there's just so much water oh, it really brings me back to my youth when i used to swim all the time and i also love when like the wet clothes won't dry like oh my god it's so exhilarating like i can't even explain it huh <sighs> it's the best part of my week i can't even i can't even explain you know when you're just so happy you can barely explain that's 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 what's going on right now ah, I'll, I'll keep you posted on more wonderful things that happen in my life and things that I just love <laughs> bye